You look very good swinging a sword, Yuri. You're not bad yourself, Estelle. Really? My swordmaster used to scold me terribly. Well, I have to admit I'd be surprised if you look too natural. I really don't like fighting. I don't like hurting people. How ladylike of you. But if I don't fight, I'll end up hurt myself, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. I wish I could enjoy fighting like you do, Yuri. You think I enjoy this? Don't you? I mean, the way your eyes shine, that only happens when you're fighting. Oh, oh really? Wow, you're pretty observant. Yes, I like watching people. in a place like this can only mean the Quoi Woods? Bingo. You're just full of information, aren't you? I read in a book once that a curse will fall upon anyone who enters the woods. Ah, so that must be the surprise. Not going in? That's fine by me, but what about Flynn? I know. Okay, let's go. Will this forest really get us to the other side of the hold? If it doesn't, we'll just come back. But what if I get turned into a frog or a snake by the forest's curse? If that happens, I'll take care of you. You'll... take care of me? Of course I would. Don't worry. I had pet frogs and snakes when I was a kid. If you got turned into a frog or a snake, Yuri, I wouldn't have any idea what to feed you. Oh, <laughs> 
like this let's take a break I I'm all right huh what's this a <gasps> cell Damn, that's bitter. You all right? Oh, my head feels a little... Oh, but what happened to me? You just fell over all of a sudden. Don't you remember? Perhaps it was the air that made me dizzy. Air. That's sort of like the fuel that powers the Blastia, right? I heard that even though we can't see it, it's scattered through the atmosphere. Yes, that's air. I read once that dense air can have negative effects on people. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's what started the rumor of the curse. Hey, you only just woke up. You should rest a bit more. But I can't! If we don't catch up with Flynn soon... What if you collapse again, and this time you're out for the whole night? You're right. I'm sorry. I suppose we'll never get full trying to eat these. It's delicious. Hold on a sec. I can make something simple. You can cook, Yuri? I'm not exactly a royal chef. I just have a few recipes I learned growing up. Aren't you worried at all that Flynn is in danger? Huh? Does it look that way? Well, yes. Honestly, I'm not worried about him. He's always managed to take care of himself. Actually, it's the guys who are after him I feel sorry for. What do you mean? Ever since we were kids, I've never been able to beat Flynn at anything. Swords, racing, whatever. After he'd won, he'd always have the nerve to say, You all right, Yuri? That must be nice. I've never had anyone like that in my life. You can count yourself lucky. Well, dinner's ready. Thank you for the meal. Uh, it wasn't anything special. I thought it was very tasty. I can't imagine being able to cook anything myself. It's just like using a sword or magic. You've got to learn it by doing it. You just need to practice with a few recipes. You'll be cooking before you know it. Practice with recipes? Here, I'll show you how it's done. Watch. Cooking clears your mind, and it's great for regaining lost energy. Cooking has a lot of other effects as well. This is pretty much everything I know how to cook right now. So, in order to make a sandwich, you'll need bread and an egg, which we just happen to have right here. After choosing the ingredients, it's time to cook. And there you are, a delicious meal. You're so good at that. I'm not sure I'd be able to get that good at cooking. 
Well, it comes more naturally to some people than others. Just because you have a recipe doesn't mean it'll always turn out like you think. Really? So you can mess it up? Well, you usually taste your food while cooking, but some people don't. Tasting? You know, like when cooks taste the food they make? Well, you're a sheltered little princess who's lived her life in a castle. It's only normal. Sheltered little princess? I suppose so. What is it, Repeat? Well, shall we be going? like that with just about everybody. Well then, I'll just have to keep trying until he accepts me. I do. I think. Then maybe it's my fault. What should we do? They say no medicine can cure a fool, but I wish something could cure a bad sense of direction.
my gosh! S somebody help me! Ah! Is this kid for real? It's all right now. Huh? The monster turned into a girl? Oh, brother. This should be interesting. I'm Carol Capel. I'm a member of the Hunting Blades Guild. We travel the globe in search of the toughest monsters. I'm Yuri. This is Estelle. And you've met Repeat already. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where are you guys going? You guys are here to enter the woods, right? Well then, I'll... Actually, we've just finished coming through the woods and we're on our way to Halor. No way! You guys made it through the cursed woods? Did you guys run into any egg bears? Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? No, I don't think we've seen any. Man, I wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. All right, I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear! The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort! See that? I've even got my own Blastia! What? You guys both have one too? Uh, oh yeah? Well, how do you like this? It has information about monsters. Hmm? After a certain point, all the pages are blank. That's because I'm going to fill it up with piles of monsters after this. Hey, wait! Who said you could just ride in there? It might hurt your star member status if it got out that you broke your sword. Oh, that? I had to give myself some kind of handicap or else it wouldn't have been a fair fight. Hey, that's actually not too bad. Yo, do you guys even know where you're going? Halor's to the north once you get out of the woods. Come on, guys, wait for me! Repeat. He's a dog with claws and fangs, but he uses weapons? Yeah, I guess dogs do usually fight with claws and fangs. Huh? But Repeat's a dog, isn't he? Repeat is Repeat. What does that mean? Whatever he is, Repeat doesn't think of himself as a dog. That's why he uses weapons and items. But that's not to say that he thinks of himself as a human, either. I don't really understand, but he seems very proud. Yep, so show him some respect. Hey, Yuri, are you translating what Repeat's saying? Nah, it's just your imagination. Friends to talk to really makes traveling a lot more fun. When I'm by myself, I get a little scared. Uh, I mean, bored. Yeah, uh-huh. Hey, Carol, there's a monster behind you. What? Oh, my mistake. I must be seeing things. D don't do that! Our trip just got more lively. <laughs>
Let's get this over with. Now your sword won't be swinging you anymore. Sounds good to me. Breaking your sword to get it to just the right length. <laughs> You're obviously some guild's ace. Yuri, you didn't break Carol's sword on purpose, did you? <laughs> I'm not that good. Leave it to me! Don't cry a victory! Oh. 